Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is LV and I hope you guys are all doing well. <laughs> Today we have uh, so much Anterium goriosum here. Today I'm gonna show you the update on this plant, so let's get started. I put this goriosum only two plants and now it has so many plants because I propagate them I have four plants and then I saw one a um, while back ago and then replaced this with the bigger one I transitioned all of them into semi-hydro and I put them all in this pot so this is how it's look like they are looting pretty well here the way that I'm watering them is when my top moss I have a moss on the top here um, start to feel really dry then I pour water in it I have found that that they did not grow as big or they didn't really grow as much that I will want it to because right now it's September it's six seven months already it doesn't have so much grow the thing that I should change it is my nutrition water that I give it them I was super under fertilized them um, as a semi hydroponics plant but once I start change it to um, organic fertilizer they all start to come back life so I'm pretty happy this is the biggest one that I was imported this year this is the same one that I imported together but this one I grow it in soil I want to report them to a slightly smaller size and I, I got this pot from Amazon and it's uh, pretty good because it has a water indicator for this one it doesn't have water indicator I just water it when the top moss is dry out completely so I got this I think around $20-$30 couldn't remember and smaller so it's pretty nice size for the table <laughs> tabletop so let's see how this plant doing after many months in semi hydroponics I found like um, philodendrons um, like goriosum uh, pastanums or the magdal those big leaf green leaf philodendron they are pretty easy to trans transfer to semi hydroponics and if you give it proper nutrition they actually grow pretty happily and quickly this one is actually a lot smaller she is only the size of my hands I would say like five inch size of the leaf as uh, goriosum for me it should be around 8 to 10 inches size so this is pretty small in my opinion this is the guy the newest leaf and this is the guy that got a spider mite so <laughs> I know it's together <laughs> but trust me they're okay <laughs> they're okay together the root is running toward the whole pot um, I think I can still keep it in this pot but I just feel for me it's too big and I want to downsize a little bit I'm gonna put this guy down here so this is the biggest one this is import from Indonesia and then see the root they're pretty happy one thing about semi hydroponics I feel a lot of misunderstanding from a lot of people they are showing the roots like growing like crazy but my question is are they growing good as well doesn't matter how much root is growing if there's no new grow I don't think this is successful um, growing in semi hydroponics and for me to be successful growing a plant it's supposed to be thriving like the plant not just living but thriving if there's no new grow your plant eventually going to be die so for me this is okay but it's not super successful I want it to be growing bigger each leaf is supposed to be grow bigger than the other leaf or at least similar size but mine is not growing so much the root is good the root is fine so like all pretty root finally give me new growth after i give it proper nutrition this is a big runner quite a bit of new leaf i like this one actually i'm just gonna plant this guy i have this big one i don't want to separate it so i want to put it back to uh, semi hydroponics still i wanted to separate because it has a spider my um, situations so i'm just going to put it in slightly smaller pot i should have bigger one but i couldn't find any bigger one so i'm gonna use the old product that it was from there's a lot of root down here I'm actually doesn't really like this pot too small um, I might go on to change it to bigger ones um, once I find a big one for right now I'm gonna temporarily using this pot that have a string the water won't touch the pot let's just use the 
capillary actions to uh, to water these plants. These two I'm going to um, just propagate it and um, selling it. <laughs> I know I think I, I'm good with that one already. So this one will be go back here. This is the main one that I want to keep. It's so cute. They are very nice together. There's a one new grow. So I got this pot. I'm gonna fill it up with my pearl snake, which is pearl pumice and leka. You can use lacusa pond or whatever mix you want. You can just use leka as well. I think it's okay, especially when I my plants already in semi hydroponics. When I grow this plant, there's no water underneath. The pearl just stay moist. Like it's pretty moist. There's no water on this reservoir at all. So I have about 50-50 of uh, pearl and pumice, and then 10% of leka. Put a layer in the bottom first. I pre-washed the leka and pumice the day before and then I let it try to let it dry. It's still quite moist. So after I put it, I actually would not add any water. Eventually I can add the water reservoir in the bottom, but I need to monitor the plant first if it's too much water or not. Since this is a lot runner, so I'm gonna let it run. Just like before. And remember, you don't really bury the stem, you just bury the root. You can actually put some sphagnum in it. I let this runner run toward here and then the stem is still outside. And I'm also going to put a sphagnum like just before because sphagnum uh, will tell you how moist is the pearlite is and it's also keep it moist more longer. It's also encourage more root growth as well. And if your goriosum would not able to stand by itself, you can also add a stick in here, just let it support temporary. But once the root catch the pearlites and leka, it will actually stand up by themselves. Since my already in semi hydroponics for over six months, so I can actually just add the water here, put the water reservoir in here and get the indication here and grow it in semi-hydroponics. But if you are just converted in semi-hydroponics, you can just water it as like in soil. There's no water underneath, just grow it like in soil. When the moss completely dry out, then you add the water and then let the pearl like soak the water up and then moist the sphagnum like that. I use up my warm tea liquid fertilizer. I'm trying to finish my gold leaf fertilizer. If you see there's yellow tips, that's indication saying you have too much water on your uh, growing medium, even though with Leica or uh, Perlite. If it's too moist, the plants start to suffer, like they're going to get the brown tips here. So the way to not getting a brown tip is to reduce the amount of water on your reservoir. So yeah, I'm going to report the rest of it propagate that one and then report this one with bigger pots so yeah so this is the update <laughs> a little bit messy if you have any questions put a comment down below and then see you guys next thank you for watching bye bye